But as for the virtuous self, the, the virtuous self, um, <laughs> it, it, if we're in the diversity and inclusion space, we have to be really, really careful. Because the virtuous self, if not associated with a set of justice-oriented practices, can actually promote more biased behavior. People who believe that they are more objective are more likely to engage in gender discrimination. Organizational cultures that define themselves as more meritocratic are likely to practice more stratification and discrimination in their HR and talent management systems. And a sense of moral identity or sense of moral self-worth is, um, is quite rigid. So it's hard to convince someone that they are not a good person, even if you're questioning or challenging the consequences of some of their behaviors. Because the need to see and experience oneself as a good person is so strong that we can engage in a lot of bounded rationality to justify our choices, their decisions, and frame them in ways that um, would indicate that they're ethical when, in fact, those same behaviors could be promoting injustice. So it's a question that I think about a lot uh, with respect to doing this work on positive identity, especially when I layer onto this work the mantle of leadership and leadership responsibility. I mean, the good news is that when you engage in pro-social behavior and activities, you know, we've written a piece on this, engaging in those kinds of activities like community service outreach programs that are sponsored by corporations, those can also enhance the individual sense of virtuosity. You know, so that's great. It's like doing good makes you feel better about yourself. And on many occasions, if you ask people, if you prime a moral identity, then they're also more likely to engage in moral behavior. You know, but when it comes to power, and that's where the critical perspective comes in, so I'm so glad you all are raising these questions. When it comes to power, there's some insulation if you're a very powerful person at the, where you're not getting accurate feedback and your perception is off um, about the way in which your actions and behaviors are affecting others. Um, so at best, you could be ignorant about whether or not your behaviors are truly virtuous. At worst, you can be manipulative and deceptive, and that happens. It's happening. It's happening. Every time, you, every time I hear an accusation of some kind of gender offense, gender discrimination, racial offense, or, or discrimination, there is a narrative from a group of constituents about how that person is a good guy. 